As for Kansas City's mayor, he's focusing on programs that can help stop this violent trend. 41 Action reporter Ariel Rothfield joins us live from City Hall. Ariel, today I know the mayor met with the Missouri's governor to discuss the violence and how to stop it. What came out of that meeting? Kevin, he did. You know, neighborhoods are tired of the violence, as is City Hall, which is why Mayor Quentin Lucas says it's now time for action. Come on. You coming in or you gonna stay out here? On this court, it can sometimes feel like a game of life. I got so many kids over there right now that lost their dad to violence, one way or the other. The number's so high. These are becoming basketball scores, you know. It's now a full court press to find answers. You see this happening right now. Good kids. But last night down the street, you know, some of these kids live around there. The latest violence, a deadly triple shooting right around the corner. In City Hall, Mayor Quinton Lucas is working on a plan to help neighborhoods rebound, meeting with Missouri's governor and other city mayors. To try to be safer, working on things like witness protection programs. How can we adequately fund them? Right now, he says the program only gets $10,000 a year and that's to cover the entire state. As soon as people see you talking to the police, it can create problems. One the neighborhood is trying to block here with basketball. Because when crime numbers go down. Some of these kids think that just turning 25, they live the life. And that's a sad situation. We all win in the game of life. Good shot, it took you long enough. Another action in the works includes increasing funding for mental health as well as substance abuse for both victims as well as those who commit crimes. Reporting live in downtown Kansas City tonight, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News. Our kids are our future. Ariel, thank you. Last night's triple shooting, by the way, brought the death toll to 121 in Kansas City. 2017 marks one of the deadliest years in recent history with 151 homicides by the end of the year. But at this time in 2017, there were 116 homicides compared to 121 so far this year. You can see a full breakdown on our website, KSHB.com. Just search for our homicide tracker.